Hey, English 102. Welcome to week 10. Last week, we started brainstorming and making decisions about our individual path forward project. And this week, we'll be continuing on redefining what we're doing and thinking about our research plans. So let's get started. All right, so here we are in our Brightspace page. As always, your announcement for this week is the first thing that you see. So here you'll see that we have a link for you to fill in a line on our research planning document. We'll be looking at these and discussing them and using them as a jumping off point for your conferences that so many of you have already signed up for. Um, so that is the onus of what we want to do this week. So let's just take a look at it. Looks like this. And if you scroll down, you'll see we already have people starting, right? Um, so you're going to fill out a line, pick any line you want, tell me your name, your research question, your policy. I want to know what you're kind of arguing for, what you think at this point your path forward is going to be. Um, again, that might change based on the research that you do. But what do you think right now? Who do you plan to survey? In what mode do you plan to do that? Um, I know that I've told you you had to use a Google form, but do you plan on giving that in person via a link and email? What's kind of your thoughts? And the last one is thinking about your qualitative research method. Do you plan on doing an interview or observation and why? This is to get a snapshot of kind of what you are doing for your individual path forward projects. And again, we're going to talk about these things in your first conference. All right. Speaking of those conferences, if you have not yet signed up for one, and most of you have, the link to sign up for one is also available. So this is an ongoing thing, right? So all you have to do is pick the day and the time that works best for your schedule, put in your name and your email address. As you can see, I've continued to kind of add a day here and a day there. Um, so if there are problems or if you need to change your date, you can absolutely do that. Um, and also keep in mind that you will eventually have to have two conferences, the research one first. And as you move forward with your paper, your essay, path forward project one second. And again, you can kind of do them as fast or as quickly as you have those materials for us to review. All right. Beyond that, of course, you have a chapter to read in your text this week, which is chapter number seven, and as always, our weekly discussion. So it's week 10, and you'll see this one is all geared toward thinking about your primary research as you're filling out those things and thinking about what you want to do. Here, I'm asking you to tell me about your question and your targeted subject, either for your quantitative or your qualitative choice. So I'm not asking that you have it done. I'm asking you to brainstorm these things. Think about who that group is. Think about who your methods are. Think about some potential questions, and then you're going to get feedback from your classmates. All right. And that's about it for week 10. Again, we're in work mode. All of these things you've done to some capacity before. So this is our chance to do them well. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and email me and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Have a great week, English 102.